happen. For the most part, he just basically said that Crawford ain't got shit. I mean, Canelo ain't got nothing to gain from fighting Crawford. Let's talk about it. Y'all about to see me look homeless the next couple the next couple weeks. I ain't getting my hair cut until Sweetest Day weekend. So I was thinking about like twisting it and twisting it up and eventually letting it lock up. That's kind of been on my brain a little bit. Um let my hair grow and I used to have a twist. I just never like let it locked up. I was thinking about kind of going with that look for a minute. But I don't know. I usually I usually get my hair cut like once a month in the winter time. And um the great thing the great thing about that is cold, you got more hair on your head and also with a lot of people uh don't recognize too a lot of these dudes and I said this and I'm gonna do a video on my other channel check my new channel free game 89 fr33 game 89 the links in the link tree is in the description a lot of guys don't understand you got some dudes that get their hair lined up every week and all the barber doing is pushing it back and that's what they do when they line you up they naturally push your hairline back it just depends how much how farther how far they push it back how good they are at your hairline so that's the one thing about people getting shape ups every week everybody getting lineups every week you don't do that. That's why your hairline be moving far as hell back. It ain't just genetics. It got a lot to do with, you know, it got a lot to do with, you know, how you, your maintenance of your hair. In the summertime, because I don't like to be hot, I get it cut every two weeks. That's my thing. I get it chopped off every two weeks. So, um, I think I'm a damn ambulance. Shit, I think I the way. But yeah, I get it cut every two weeks, so... When the winter comes once a month, unless, or unless it's a uh, unless it's a special occasion, you know what I'm saying. And if it's a special occasion and shit, you know, then you know I get it cut one, you know, I get it cut when need be. But yeah, you know. Then also when you constantly getting it cut every week and all that, you know, you're not letting your hair refill in your weak spots on your head. That's why a lot of y'all thinner and thinner in places, and genetically you are gonna be thinner in places. But if you constantly keep cutting it and not let it grow back fully. You're going to be a lot thinner. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be thin as hell. So, um, but nonetheless, he right. You know, Canelo, when you get up making $50 million and all that shit, all that money they're saying, 50, 60, unless they can say, well, we can give you 100 or $300 million for fighting Terrence Crawford, something like Mayweather and Pacquiao, then he'd get in there with him, but not Hopkins right. He said he ain't got nothing to gain. I heard Crawford say, you know, he just want to make this move, jump up, fight Canelo, then retire. That let me know once again. You know, I'm cash out fight. I already know. I know boxing, bro. And I'm gonna keep saying this: when his opinion changed from all oh, we could do it at 160, 162, or something like that, then it drastically changed to oh, I go up to 68. You know, he found out how much money he can make for the fight. I already know what it is, bro. I've been around boxing too much. I've been around. I've been around people too much. And, you know, I remember somebody in the comment section when you did a uh, Hip Hop 101 on was that Thursday. was like, help me get more women. I was like, I ain't got no women. But, you know, one thing about women, when I'm so, like, when I get to know them, the icebreaker is the, the toughest part, right? Is approaching women and, you know, I suck at DMing women. Like, approaching them, it ain't really shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, everything is now digitally. So, DM, they want you to hold the whole conversation in the DM and shit. And I'm just like, you know what, bro? Like, I don't know. I don't know what they be wanting you to act, to say in a deal, but nonetheless, really, it's just listening. And once you listen, you get a great idea where she stand at, you know, where she stand at. And I'm at the point where I ain't thirsty. So I really ain't sex hungry like I was when I was younger. You know, nigga got options, even though I don't have options. I really ain't pressed over it. But when you listen to people... You know what I'm saying? You you know listen to what they're saying. You know if they're a good match. If they ain't a good match, I just don't even want, I don't even want to mess with you. And that's my opponent. Now some people say you ain't really a good match. I don't even want to. I still hit it, and I ain't even mad at that. You know what I'm saying? If she bad enough, yeah, of course. But but you got to just listen to people. And that's my whole point about it. You got to listen to what these guys say, and how they say it, and, and all this stuff. And I be listening and reading the body language. Y'all act like y'all be ignoring it, and I be pointing it out. Like with Jamil Charlo, my opinion changed when he at the press conference. People say you read too much into it. And then he said, I look up to Canelo. And then people say you read too much into it. I read all that shit. You know? And, you know, that's just my opinion, bro. I've been around the block. I've been around the block. And 
when you learn body language, when you learn, you know, uh, it's, a, it's just a lot going on right here, bro. Wow. You learn body language, you learn, you know, kind of, like, you know, verbiage and how people say stuff and how they react to stuff and all that stuff like that. I just stopped talking to this girl because based off what she posted on Facebook, I was good. Like, I'm, I'm good, bro. So, since she was posting, I'm good. That was a huge, a huge part. And then she posts like, uh, you know, you can't even talking you can't believe what i see on facebook i said it's too late for that i don't play that shit <laughs> some shit you post i'm good <laughs> but yeah like you listen to what they saying at the end of the day bernard hopkins is 100 percent right canelo alvarez ain't got nothing to gain from fighting terrence crawford what do we got to gain he get money regardless who he fight he just show you they if it's true that he fighting carlos adamas it don't it don't really matter in his book all the places you could have cut. Why would you cut in front of me? Fucking movie. That's an old lady. I'm sorry, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm gonna give this to old people time out here Saturday morning. But, you know, like I continue to say about the situation, man, it's just, uh, you know, he right. He got nothing to gain. If he lose, you know, he lose everything. It's like Jamil Charlo. He, he, he literally lost everything, his reputation. You know, they literally lost their reputation in a matter of months. He got smacked by Jerry Hurd with that last year. Brother got smacked by Kayla Plant. Brother on TV crying and shit. I heard somebody say real men cry. And nigga, yo bitch catch you crying, nigga. <laughs> and it ain't because somebody died or no shit like that. Even if that's the case. She gonna look at you a lot different. You gonna be as soon as y'all argue, a probably be ass nigga, man. You gotta say yo, if you gonna cry, you gotta have your tears and you gotta have your tears in private, bro. Your kids, your dog, your woman. They can't see you cry, bro. Don't believe, don't believe that bullshit women be kicking like, oh man, real man cry. Like, okay, go ahead and cry your ass. And she gonna weaponize that against you. There's been so many crying ass ninjas in sports, dog. I never thought I would have a world title. I'm looking like these crybaby ass Jodeci ninjas. But, you know, nonetheless, yeah, the man ain't got nothing to gain from the That's what I'm telling y'all. When you get up there, the money, unless they're going to make him guarantee him 100 plus million dollars to fight Crawford, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And probably in the back of his mind, he know Crawford a better fighter. So he like, man, he might be able to do it. This dude different. This, is, this might not be a money grab. He might come up there to win. You know? But fighting smaller guys ain't never stopped him before. And that's what I, I'm thinking. Like, he had no problem fighting Josita Lopez. That had just came up from 40 to 47. Then jumped up to 54 after he beat Victor Ortiz. He had no problem fighting Amir Khan, who was a career 140 pounder. I think he fought at 35 for one minute. I think he got stopped at 35. I could be wrong on that. You know, Matthew Hatton, he ain't never had no problem fighting smaller guys. So that lets you know right then and there, he see Terrence Crawford as a threat. He know Terrence Crawford a better fighter. Take away the weight and go fighter for fighter. He know Terrence Crawford a better fighter. He know it. Take away the bull job. He knows Terrence Crawford a better fighter, fighter for fighter. He know it. So, why take that risk? What if he really can do what he said he gonna do? Then it's like, damn. You know, I lose this, I lose my whole reputation. And when all the money is the same, whether I fight Adamus, whether I fight Ryder, whether I fight Billy Joe Saunders, whether I fight Caleb Plant, Danny Jacobs, Rocky Fielded, Lufkin 1, 2, or 3, all the money the same. Clovelab, Beaver, all the money the same. If this man beat me, it's different than Beaver or Mayweather beat me. I lost to one of the best ever, and I lost to a, a guy in a weight class most people make excuses for and say I shouldn't have been at it. So, yeah, so you got to look at it from that aspect point, that aspect point of view. But, 
Bernard is right. It's like, what's the, what's the, you know, what do I, what do we get for being tearing apart? All the money the same. You know, people, you know, they, you know, his fans hype him up, you know, hype him up and shit and say, oh, you know, he beat Jamel Tribal, he back like cook crack. I'm like, back from what? This is the part of the dude that said he looked up to him, bro. And he older than Canelo. He fought a dude that ever, he, he shows out the press conference, you know, he wasn't no dog with Tony Harrison. He, he the one that, people forgetting the rematch with Tony Harrison, he the one that started the trash talk. He the one that started the trash talk. So let's not lose, let's not lose sight of that. He the one that started the trash talk. Now get your slow ass Prius out my way. Somebody hit you from the back, pause. Oh, I mean, I couldn't be no dude riding no Prius. If I had to, man, it is what it is, bro. But this certain shit, I can't even hop out of. I'm too damn scared. Too damn That's why I got to get the truck. Every time I go buy a car, they clown me for not getting a truck. But I be getting sold some good deals. I'm going to go to the police auction and probably give me a truck, bro. Arabs told me, like, he told me, like, dude, go to the police auction. He some nice shit there. And I, you know, I can work on my own shit, too, if I have to. So... This one girl at the gym, she she fine as hell. I ain't gonna lie, she got a hella body and shit. She right here, I should put her on camera and shit. <laughs> but man, her attitude, she just look mean as hell. <laughs> a lot of black, a lot of black women be uh, unapproachable and shit. I ain't gonna lie, I smashed them cheeks though. No cap. <laughs> no cap. I'm already up here double parking and shit. But yeah. You, you, you can tell she ain't got she 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 probably got no nigga neither. I show, sure but but one thing that be bothering me, this is about women and women at the gym, the ones that wear makeup on. What the fuck you working out with makeup on for? You uh, you uh, I'm gonna talk about that shit too on my other channel. She got free game eighty nine. How these women? I be seeing women with these high standards on the internet. You you see them in person or you see some of their pictures and they built like. They build like uh what's them uh potato chips and they they like they potato sticks or whatever. They build like they but not a pudding body body on 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 them potato stick little pet little little things and little strings, shoestring potato chips or fries or something like that shit. They be built like that. I be like, fuck out of here, dude. I be looking at them. They should be three four hundred pounds. I be looking like, bruh. <laughs> I be looking like this. This is the ones who got standards. Got three or four kids. You know, you like, bro, beat it. <laughs> That's all I got, bro. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app dollar sign CJ Good three one three Venmo CJ Good three one three. Pick comment description. Hit the link tree, find me on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, the whole nine. I'm everywhere. My new channel, Free Game 89, is in the description of the link tree. Check out my Detroit channel. It's there as well, too. Peace.